Right, today we're doing another simple bait, but <clears throat> really objective is this to show a couple uh, new techniques that maybe you haven't seen before. Uh, it's called stippling. So this color pattern I call uh, confetti. I start with a white base coat, and this is a lure body called the Blitz from Dinger Baits. I did a white base coat, as we can see, to save some time. And now we're going to go on to the next color, which I like, is Aztec uh, by Testers. It's a pearl white. <clears throat> I like the Testers, uh, the Testers pearls, because they spray so much better. So let's just cover this in some pearl white. I do a couple coats. I up the pressure too, just to make sure it doesn't clog. But you usually have good luck with the, the Testers brand. I do heat set in between each coat. Let's do one more. All right, I'll heat set that, and then we'll get into the uh, stippling effect. Okay, stippling is basically just a, a method for splattering dots on the bait. <clears throat> There's a couple ways to do it. Some people have loaded up a toothbrush and they run their thumb across it and it splatters. Uh, I used to do that and now I use the airbrush just so I can have a little more control. And so for the stippling colors I have a fluorescent pink. Um, what is this? Uh, cobalt blue. And then a fluorescent yellow. I'm going to go with some bright colors, but I'll start with the, the pink, and we'll load up the brush, and basically you're going to use little to no air pressure, but I like to spray a little bit just to get it loaded into the brush and uh, needle area. Okay, then <clears throat> what you want to do is the airbrush has three sections, there's a crown, there's a midsection here, and then here's the nozzle cover. And when I get a wrench, I'm going to take off not just the crown, but also the midsection. There you go. Take that off. And get my pressure down pretty low. I like to practice on a piece of paper just to see my my splatter. What I do is I pull down and quickly just uh, jerk back on the trigger, like so. So, let's get a little more air. So very low pressure, getting big blobs. Not something I want yet. Let's try a little more air. Okay. With more air pressure, some more finer dots. I think I want to bring the pressure back down just a bit. I want to kind of get a happy medium between the big and the tiny. And a little too much. Okay. I'll show you on a clean piece of paper here. That's what I'm looking for. So, we'll start stippling. Remember, just pull down and quickly release. And see if you can see that right there. All right. I'm doing actually two baits, one's for a friend, so I gotta get this one done too. There you go. And I'm gonna do that with all the colors. I'll, I'll demonstrate it one more time with a different color. And then uh, there's just one more color to finish up at the very end. Uh, 
So we'll just do a color change and I'll we'll be back. Okay, I'm cleaning my brush. Again, to get the brush clean and get air flowing through it again, you need to reattach the, the nozzle caps. So, doing that now. All clean. And we get some fluorescent yellow. Yellow may be a little hard to see when I spray it, but it's in there. It's clogging a little bit. Sometimes you get paint that dries up on the tip. I like doing this method better because I feel like I have a little more control over where the spots are going. change first. Okay, one more color. Get that all clean. Go with some blue. All right, remember we load up the needle first. Turn the pressure way down. Take the cap off. Lose it. Practice on some paper. Ooh, those are good splatters. Maybe too good. It's thinner paint, so it splatters better or it stipples. Alright, here we go. It's almost like what some people call Wonder Bread. three colors, the yellow, the fluorescent pink, and the blue. And just one color left to finish up. Alright, final touch. It looks really bright and white. And I like to add a little contrast, so I'm just going to take some black and run it along the back of the bait. Just lightly. Also reduce it a little bit. So just a, I've reduced my pressure. I think I'm down to about 15 psi. 
a light spray down the back. So it's not it's like a transparent black color. Put on the nose. Put it on the shoulder. Now you got some contrast. set that. So if you look, the black over the pearl kind of makes like a silver chrome kind of effect. So I didn't go too heavy on the black this way the pearl effect still comes through. And the way I finished this bait up, again, iridescent eyes. Exacto knife. It's easier to handle them that way. There's one. I also recommend maybe doing a little bit of super glue in the eye socket before you put the eyes on so they don't fall off when you go to dip your clear coat or brush it on. I've had that happen where they've fallen off and that's not a good situation to be in. So we are done. There we go. That's how you stipple. And that's your confetti crankbait. Thank you for watching and subscribe.